Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Miss what, Hakuna La Misa podcast. So today's topic would be about why I do not own a car. Now, there's only one reason why we all know it, because I'm poor. That's why. Okay. So thank you for coming for today's podcast. The end. Bye bye. Okay. All jokes aside. Okay. One of the reason is because I'm poor, but not like extremely poor. It's just that. I don't. I don't think that my financial financial state right now is suitable to be paying for a car or to take on a car loan. Even if I could, I would rather that I I, I don't buy it. Or if I really do need a car, I maybe will opt for a second hand car rather than a brand new car. Now, um. If you really need a car, I actually think if you really, really need a car, you guys better have a solid, solid, good reason why you need it, and it better be a good one, a relevant one, not just because oh my friend have car, that's why I want the car. Oh, because I feel like there's an asset or anything. It's but it's it got to be like a reason, like maybe oh I need to go to work every day. Uh, I need the car every day. Is uh my house have no car or anything? Something like that, like important reason. Okay, now I know many of you when you guys heard here, I uh, hear until this part, you guys will feel like, ah yeah, it's sure because uh Hakuna and Misa don't have enough money to own a car. That's why she jealous when she see other people have car. That's why she's saying tell you don't buy a car or anything. Okay, it's nothing like that. Okay, I am not jealous at anyone. Okay. I'm just trying to state my opinion and um why I do not own a car. So technically, a few months back, Mister Ho actually did offer to lend me his car without the cost. Actually, yeah, for free. So technically, I was given a car for free. But that time, I accepted the car is because I was working as a part time tuition teacher. And so I need to travel quite often at, at different classes, different center every day. So I need to go and come from my house. So it's quite far. It's like on a one hour, half an hour journey, and it's not reachable by any of a、uh, MRT. And so, so it's it's more cost efficient and also time efficient if I drive the, my own car to to the, to the place where I need to teach. And that's why that's one of the reason why I accepted the car. But after that, I stopped my my tuition job, and then I started to realize that a car is not a good idea. At first, I was like, "Wow, I feel like I'm so cool. I have a car. You see, all my friends don't have. I have one. Yeah." But after that, I start to realize that a car right now is actually not really a good idea. A car actually have a lot of hidden costs that I'm sure not many of you guys realize of it. Okay, just one is already enough. Uh, petrol fee. Okay, I'm sure all of you guys need to pay petrol fee. You need one to travel. You need to pay petrol. If not, your car can't move. Your car is not movable by water or by cooking oil or anything. So petrol price has risen up. So petrol is actually quite expensive. Okay, so the car that he wanted to lend me, he he had a new car. So this car is considered old car. He don't need it. That's why he lent to me. So this car itself, uh, is the cheapest car. Is uh cheapest uh. Most most eco friendly or most petrol saving car, so it's an Asia. So one week, let's say I need for petrol of thirty ringgit. So one month itself, I need to pour around hundred and twenty ringgit just for the car to move. And then beside of that, one month once, and that car was white color. So obviously, I need to take it for washing every month once at least once, so it won't turn into. Uh, from little whitey, it will turn into a little blacky if I don't wash it once a while. And I'm not the kind of person who would wash the car by myself. Yeah, so it costs around ten ringgit per month for car wash. I know it's a small amount, but for one year, it's like hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty, you can get a lot of stuff. You can buy, you can buy a lot of thing. You can buy cake. You can buy. Meal, ah,、uh, you get it, and anything you want, ah,、uh, around hundred and twenty. Okay, so basically, yeah. 
So uh, that's that's already two hidden costs. Like right? another hidden cost is uh, what cost? That's that's maintenance cost. Yes, maintenance cost. You see, maintenance cost. He already lent the car for to to me for free. Like so, you need to like sick so long a bit, right? When you can't ask him like, oh, since you are giving me the car, uh, this the car need to go for maintenance, need to go repair. You need to pay for it. Of course not. Like you need to pay it for yourself. So maintenance itself, I think, is around two hundred something. Then uh, I think it's like two one year twice or something like that when the mileage is um mileage is due so it's around two hundred ringgit for maintenance and then what else do you need let me see I have I I have written down what what's some more maintenance insurance insurance fee yeah interesting insurance fee yeah so you need to pay can 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 call him to pay you're using the car right okay so insurance fee is around every year it get lesser but then it's uh, around like five hundred bucks for renewal of the insurance and also for what you call that. Um, road tax, road tax is around thirty to fifty ringgit. Well, it's also money, eh, like I said. So those are like five hidden costs already. So maintenance, insurance, car wash, car upkeep or anything, and also what what was it again? Um, insurance, road tax, petrol. Yeah, five stuff. So these are the hidden costs that you need to bear. In mind that you need to pay if you yearly own a car, which you can save a lot on all of this if you do not own a car. So that is one of the reason why I don't own a car because there's actually a lot of hidden costs. So once I realized that wait, there's so much hidden costs that I need to pay, which I actually don't need it, so I straight away. Gave him back his car, yeah. Rather than keeping it at my house and eating up space, I straight away said, "Oh yeah, why don't you guys give it to someone who really need it rather than me?" Because now during MCO, I work at home. I don't really need to travel much. Even if I need to travel, I can ask for a ride from my sister, or I can carpool, or I can and any way that is is much cheaper than having the car to myself where I need to pay all these hidden costs. Okay, so this is one of the reason why I do not own the car, and also, yeah, things that, yeah, I know many of you guys will argue with me. Like you will feel like uh, having a car is important. Having a car is like having an asset. Okay, everyone need to keep some asset. Like yeah, I agree that you you. Everyone need to keep some asset, but a car can't really be considered an asset because uh, if you guys have ever read um Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert uh Kiyosaki, you know the famous uh famous book for mostly those who want to start learning investment and all those things, right? And one of it he did mention that. A、uh, car is actually not an asset, or even a house may not be an asset if you do not really use it to use it to uh earn earn a、uh, earn any income. Uh, in fact, a car is actually an expenses and a liability for you if you don't really use it to. To have any ha- and you don't use it for any business purposes. If you just use it for like daily entertainment, to work and everything, it it's really not an asset. Rather, it will cost you liability. You see, you need to pay the maintenance costs and all those. So if you really don't have a good or relevant um reason to have a car, I do I I don't see why 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 you should have a car. But anyway, this is my own personal view. Okay, it's not like I'm saying no, don't buy a car. You're not allowed to buy a car. I'm not saying just like that. It's like anyone have their, everyone have their own choice. Okay, you may have a good reason, like maybe your house is lack of car. You don't yet have a car, so you need a family car so you can travel around for emergency purpose and everything. Yeah, fine. Or maybe you travel to work every day, and then、um, it's better to have your own car because it's much more cost efficient and time efficient. Then by all means, yeah, get a car. Yeah, so this is just my personal view of why I do not own a car and why I do not need a car currently. So, if you guys are um um considering to buying a car now, you may need to consider those like whether you really need it or not, and 
if you really don't need it, then you can actually use the money for other things, you know, investment, or even if you put in a fixed deposit, you earn a 1% or 2%. It's better than wasting it on a car that you don't use and just leave it at home and it will slowly depreciate. So this is all my personal views, okay? You guys feel free to share your personal views, your point of view about whether to buy a car or to, to own a car or even to not own a car. In the comment section, I'm open to anything, so you... Yeah, so this is the end of today's podcast and thank you so much for listening today. So, good night and goodbye.